Daz Studio community. This is not from this world. I want to welcome you to my Daz tutorial series. Now today I want to talk a little bit about how you can easily upload poser props. If you look online, you may come across a bunch of props or characters, things like that, that are made for the program poser and not Daz Studio. And you can easily take those poser props and put them into Daz Studio. So that's really what I want to show you for this tutorial. For those of you that are new and don't know how to do this, it's actually very simple and I'm going to show you my way of doing it. And if you are an experienced Daz user and you know a better way or you have an easier way to work with the poser props, let me know. By the way, is Poser still a thing? I haven't ever used it. I've never played with it. I've never actually even seen it, but um, I've always just used Daz Studio. But um, I guess Poser was once a big thing. I, I honestly don't know if it is still or not, but there are lots of Poser props out there, so let's get started. Now, I did find a Poser prop online that we're going to upload and they come in zip files usually so obviously the first thing you have to do is you have to unzip it so we're going to go to extract all we're just going to extract this file and i want to look at this file for a second so if we look at it we're going to notice that it is different than a daz studio file first of all if we go into it it's going to have a runtime folder, which is similar to what Daz Studio has, but it's really not the same because in the runtime folder, we're going to have a set of uh, subfolders that are going to have geometry, libraries, and textures. Now, in Daz Studio, you cannot just upload these into Daz Studio. They, they won't work. So what we have to do is, after we get the poser file unzipped, we're going to go back into Daz Studio. And of course, I've got Milica. She is doing some kind of medieval um, scene today where she looks like is defending the um, holy altar or something like that. I don't know, but she's darn cute. So I like that. Uh, I like that outfit she's got on today. Um, anyway, I get distracted um, to do your poser props, we're going to look in our content library under um, poser formats. This is where we're going to find it. The trick is we have to get it in this folder and I'm going to come up here to edit and then go down to preferences. I'm going to get a tab that's opened up and I'm going to select content and then drop down and just select where it says content directory manager and we're going to get a menu here. This is where all of our props and, and things are stored um, in the Daz Studio formats. Daz um, library is right here. We are interested in the poser format. So we're going to just click on that once and drop down to where it says add in the directory. We're going to select that. And then we've got to find where the prop is saved in the computer. So I have it in my bulk renders, my tutorials under poser, and here it is unzipped. So I'm going to click on it. And what I have to do is I have to look for this runtime folder. So I cannot select this. It seems like because it has the name that you would just select the medieval guard in here. But if I do that, I'm going to get an error. I'll show you here. If I click on it and say select folder, I get an error that says the directory selected does not contain and is not a runtime directory. Daz Studio for poser props is always going to be looking for a runtime folder. Now, the runtime folder is there, right? It's just one folder in. So we have this content folder. And then in the content folder, we have the runtime. So what I need to do is I need to click on the content folder and hit select folder. And what that did is it just added 
this poser prop into the poser format content. Now I have a bunch of poser stuff um, that I've used for many things. There's actually some really cool poser props, but the new one is going to be at the very bottom. So if I scroll down, you can see it's going to be at the very bottom here in the C drive and I'm going to hit accept and then I have to hit apply and accept again. Now it should be in Daz Studio. If I go back to my content library, now if I use the poser format tab and I drop down, it's going to be clear at the bottom. But if I go all the way down to the bottom, here is that medieval garden. So hopefully it will work. Let's see. I've actually never opened this before. Ah, but there it is. So now what's really cool is this looks like a, you know, a medieval prop. I can right click, go to select folder and sub folders under my create a category. And then I can put this in my environment tab under medieval and now I can move it so I don't have to keep going back to this poser tab. But let's look at what this does. So we're going to kind of zoom out. I'm still in iRay mode here, so I'm going to go out of iRay mode. And now that I'm out of iRay mode, let's see if we can add one of these props in. So this is a fence. Let's just see if we can add the fence in. Ah, see, there it is. So really cool, very simple way to use poser props. You're just going to have to follow this technique. And then I strongly suggest that you save your prop into a different folder that you can easily find. All right. Well, that is going to wrap it up kind of short and sweet this week. But hey, any little uh, tip always helped me as I was learning. So if you have a comment, let me know. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to set this up, get a render cute Milica for the thumb tab. And we're gonna call it a day. All right. Until next time, have a wonderful day. We'll see you later.